Hello comrades, it is Steve. Welcome back to the Russian Dredgers. In the last episode we got, um, we're not going to call this Podvig 1, we're going to call this Svet number 3, because it's in the Svet area. Nope, we already have Svet 2. This is Svet 3. Um, we are bringing some colonists in right now, via rocket. And I am going to put down a couple of storage depots. That one, I want to make sure it has at least... 40 food here at all times. We do have a power fall off, and without the polymers that we so desperately, desperately need, um, we're not able to do much with that. We do actually have one of our metals extractors going, but unfortunately there's nobody kind of running, you know, lights are on, but nobody's home here right now. I am going to also build another shuttle hub down here. They're going to kind of help, uh, maintain things. Funding received. Yay, money. So we do have a grocer here. It is fully stocked and ready to go. I'll probably put another... I don't know where I'll put another spot here, because I could, in theory, end up building a dome out this way, or could build a small dome down here. But this dome is mainly for the new colonists who are going to be coming down. I want to make it nice and comfy for them. Uh, I don't have a medical center in this one, but what do I have spire-wise? I don't even have a medical center spire. We desperately need to get this operational. So I am going to put a fuel depot out here, just kind of on its own, and with a desired amount of A70. Also put another fuel depot here. That's going to have a desired amount of 110. So the fuel will be taken over to this extractor and keep it operational. Um, I don't want to amplify it because I don't have enough fuel for it. Resources are low. Yeah, we are running low on electronics, but we're kind of in this balancing act where we're not doing well at the moment. We are out of metals now in the colony, so the metals that we have in the machine parts factories, that's all we have for the moment, so a bit of a problem. Hopefully soon we'll start mining this out and uh, doing good things. Alright, you are in orbit. Get your ass down. What was that? Another dredger coming in? New colonists have arrived. Yay. And we're also short on medals for the Martian University. We're going to start training people up this episode. Yeah, look at that. We got people outside. We're mining metals. Good thing. We're also going to make some concrete out there. And we're going to have a metals depot actually here. <laughs> Somebody just came down like, I'm going to live here now. I could swear that was a person. Alright, um, I'm going to forbid the export of rare metals to Earth because I'm running so low on them. Um, once it's fueled up and ready to go, we'll send her back. Alright. Oh, good! Alright, here we By go. the looks on the faces of the audience... Your words have made a lasting mark. You not only managed to persuade the public to support our efforts, but also inspired millions of people around the world who watch the live stream. Your influence will aid the colony greatly. In fact, the United Nations transferred resources to the Mars Alpha Project. You'll be given $250 million in funding. Yay, money. Um, with that, I'm immediately going to reinvest that in getting a crap load of cash. We need it so bad. Um, with this now connected, um, once we get the metal, uh, once we get the power cable operational, then I'm going to start splitting this power grid. I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Because we no longer need it. And people are going to start cycling through here, hopefully. To get the right specializations going. 
do have enough machine parts to put a second set down, but I need people to naturally fill this building. Got some disabled work slots. Low on polymers now. Ah, uh, yep, this is what we're also running into. Without the metals, we're not able to maintain the O2 tanks that we have on the planet. What are these drones doing? They need to be converting all this concrete into waste rock. <laughs> we're also now having power issues. Lovely. Yo. Let's see. Can't exploit those. Resources are low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to kick this one into high gear. Because we need it. Are low. Yeah, we get it. Unfortunately, we're now running problems with... Resources are low. Alright. Let's start. This isn't causing any uh, split water grids. Oh, wait, another dredger just came down right over. Nyaw. Check it. Alright, let's salvage. Now with these extra tunnels, we're not going to have this exposed set. There we go. Oh, I think I accidentally cancelled that. See? Metals. Research complete. Yes, we can now build stuff. Atomic accumulator, now going to be uh, coming online. Job-wise, I need the colonists down here to be working in uh, established areas. So up here is where I'm going to put the MIS. Or the Hawking Institute. I'll get it right eventually. 30 concrete, 10 polymers, I've got that. Reported. That's fine. This was a new uh, area anyway. It's going to take time for these uh, to kind of become available. How are we doing comfort-wise? Oh, we need a medical center. Don't know why I said that so slowly. Let's see. We have a grocer, we need a diner. And I'm gonna put a little area to relax. Forty, 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 forty. Yep. Put some people in the medical center and we'll actually start getting babies born. Alright. Alright, let's go up to here. Resources are low. And acknowledge that concern while building a Hawking Institute. Once the Hawking Institute is online, then we'll have a lot of fun things dealing with it. Uh, mainly, I'll get rid of the research lab. I'll move everybody down to this one. And hopefully, we can get some uh, better research going. The lack of metals is a serious issue in the colony, mainly because we need the machine parts and just the straight-up metals to repair stuff. A meteor storm would be pretty good right now. The same. Alright, we'll let that happen. Oh, you. You're not you're not welcome here. Go go away. 
most of these towers need water or need metals right now to keep operational. This is about to malfunction. And just imagine a world without zinc. This is going... This is almost out. Hopefully when this is done, we'll get people going into these ones or other buildings throughout the colony. So we do have a school over here. Hopefully the kids will be willing to go all the way over to this one. I don't have any graduates yet. We're producing a lot of engineers. Not, uh... Not getting a lot of, um... Science, science folk. Can I reorder these? That needs to be something that I can, that can do. Um, a lot of... Received. I should also point this out. I'm recording a lot of episodes. I believe this is going to be episode 15? I think I just um, exported episode 14, so I'm putting a lot of videos out. It's going to go out. Or This is part of my big Thursday record session. Where I just want to crank out a bunch of videos, sit back, let the views come in, and address them. And address the comments that come in in the next set of videos. Hmm. It's almost like I need another load of colonists for these domes. Research complete. Yay! More power available. Wait, what did that need to build? Does that need metals? No, it needs concrete. Excellent. Um, we're definitely gonna put one of you down here. One of you and one of you. Having more power in the grid is gonna be helpful, obviously, in case we have dust storms, cold waves, massive, massive problems with the existing power grid. Don't have enough electronics for that, but this guy's charging up. He's gonna be charging up and he's kind of a poor sight, but I'm gonna keep charging him up too. This is still short on electronics. How many do we have? We have... Crop failure reported. That's going to be happening, I think, in this one for a while. Here we got the grocer. How you doing? How you doing? Oops, I thought I almost put that guy outside. That could have been bad. So now we have a... That power fall off again. It's gotta be coming from... These domes. Oh. It's the same thing we ran into in previous colonies, and I never remember it initially. Is that, hey, there's people working. You know, people are working during the day. The buildings need power. That's what's slowing down the progress. Research-wise, dry farming is going to help us out. Rapid sleep, Martian-born ingenuity. I guess I'm going to research empath, too. Autom or powered storages would take care of the fuel in one spot. You'd probably just stick it out here, put it down, and put an MDS next to it. Range on this. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the breakthroughs that I wanted to until we get the Omega Telescope operational. And that would be the one with the... We got the problem here. These concrete depots are full. That's why these are all still operational. See, if I had a storage, had a big concrete storage, that would have been... These would all be gone. Let's check down here. Yep, need a big concrete... Need a couple more concrete depots here.
Hopefully they'll get some machine parts to fix these guys up soon, but... Large water tanks would be uh, really, really good here, I think. Let's see, electronics, machine parts, and yeah, it's, it's the standards right now. Hmm. There's no readily accessible... I know we have to do. We have to put this at the top. Sucks, but I have to. Because without the deep metal extraction, we can't get these, we can't export. It's just a. It's this paradox, not, you know, to turn a phrase, that we're running into. We need the deep metal extraction tech, but it takes too long to research. We need the electronics from those to get this up and running. We're running a little short on power, that's fine. I could drain all our polymers simultaneously. I just... I, okay, upgrade all of these wind turbines at once. Dust storm approaching. Hey, another dredger has landed. You, investigate. And by investigate, I mean blow it up. Where are you? Okay, he's up north. He's on the south plat or the south lowlands. Shuttles are moving stuff, so that's a good thing. Um, I don't want to high prioritize this building. Resources we need to have a. Low. We need to have it spread out. Resources are low. Get me a meteor storm. I'd be happier. Right, we're four shy. Go say hi to it. Resources are low. All right. Yeah, we're gonna be low on that for a while. The metals, man. We need the metals. Resources are low. Yep. There's not much you can do about it. It's just gonna be that constant reminder of resources are low. Resources are low. An RC explorer just brought in materials salvaged from another destroyed dredger. Pretty much the same stuff we already got. The cost is reduced again by another 50%. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull him back to here. Just pull everything off that. Uh... Grab it all. Okay, now go auto-gather. Okay. So we got one of them upgraded. We'll upgrade this one now. I'm gonna do these individually pretty much just to... keep them going at a good pace. Hmm. So we're at 9% on that. It's going to take... Oh, really good glaven. 20 days. I'm going to put this at a high priority. See if we can get these electronics up here just a little bit faster. I think it dropped a metal somewhere. Can't be sure. But upgrading the storages for the fuel and the concrete are going to be heavily, heavily needed soon. There we go. We're almost there with the Hawking Institute. That's kind of been the main goal of this episode. 
and also to address the water issues we've got. Now the Moxies are going to shut down, and I've got plenty of oxygen stored. Uh-oh. That's an issue. Uh, I think I think that one's actually being fixed. Yay, back to work. Maybe? There were electronics there. I don't know where they went. I think they may have been diverted to the... Nope. Nope. Where did they go? No, not there. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to decommission this one. And I pretty much want them all to come out to the new uh, building. Okay, who's got... who's idle? Alright. You're tapped. You're tapped. Whoops. That just happened. What happens when you build a... When you build a flawed system. Like anything I build. It's just very, very flawed. Once that pipe is built, then I'll clean this up a little bit. Running a little short on water. Three and a half days. Wow. And yep, I'm noticing problems right here. Without the metals that we so desperately have been needing, we're not going to be able to deal with this. Go up here and hope they're going to deal with the leak first. There is another water extractor available. Okay. It looks like the pipe leaks are prioritized by the drones. And no collaboration loss. It is interesting how we're cranking out a ton of engineers, but it's just not working for us. Thirteen O two tanks. Where's the leak? Hopefully, I've got metals that can be used to address it. There you go. Fix that thing. Polymers. I got eleven of them on board. Hmm. Alright, we'll get some metals back from it. And we should be good on uh, concrete for a while. We've got 1,800. It is going to be the metals that are going to be the problem for a while for us. All extractors raise dust, resulting in more 
frequent maintenance of buildings in the gray. So if it's off by itself, just far enough out. What are you doing out there? <laughs> Two and a half days, I'm losing 35 water an hour. Go. Oh, he's on the plateau. You have no chance. You're close by. Excellent. Get a metal and some polymers, get two metals. I am giving consideration to scavenging some stuff, just to... Because these leaks are becoming so bad. Oh crap, I grabbed the wrong one. What the heck? <laughs> Go. Yeah, so all of my domes are without water right now, and there's not much I can do here. I think most of the water that's stored... Okay, well at least there's no oxygen leaking. An RC explorer just brought it. Okay, so another dredger has been, uh. Go. Where is the other leak? Yep, I think we're gonna have another rash of suicides. I'm really hoping they're using these metals to address the actual problems. Yeah, there's actually several, there's actually some stuff there, we can use that. Yeah, all the leaks are up top. Alright, get up there, go. This is the thing the first time I've actually had an oxygen problem in my colony. This ain't good. Has died. This is gonna. We're gonna hear that a lot more. A colonist has died. Question is, are these leaks being addressed? There's a reason that my colonies are called death traps. Twenty hours. Are you... Who's got the medals? Seriously, grab them all. Let's go. Go. <sighs> My accumulators are discharging. That's fine. 58, 61. <laughs> yep. That number is going to get a lot worse. Go. 
Grab the electronics. I'm down to 70 colonists. I do not want to be the guy cleaning this up. Forty-eight colonists. Oh, I know I'm titled in this episode Depopulation. I have a lot of vacant housing. A colonist has died. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um this might be the end of the colony. Oh. All right then. I think we're gonna put a different. Uh, we can put some different uh, funding on that one. Wow, uh, that happened. I don't think we're going to complete the mystery. Yeah. On that note... I think this colony failed. Not really much I can do at this point. Um, we're down to three colonists. I have no oxygen. I cannot repair anything. The colony has failed. The lives and the dreams of our colonists are lost. Washed away by despair and grief. And a lack of oxygen. This is a this is a first, but yay, we're actually seeing a game over screen on this one. Now our goal as a species is not to despair, not to look away from the stars. The path has proven to be hard and rocky, but hardship had only made humans more determined, and that's what defines us as a species. We are sure that one day people will walk the red sands and call Mars their home. In fact, all colonists have either died or left Mars. Game over, but don't give up. I do want to take another run at the Dredger's Mystery. I think starting off a new colony in a different spot on Mars may actually make this a little bit easier, but this one... This one was fraught with problems. I thought we had an okay starting site. I was like, okay, we got plenty of concrete, then I realized, oh wait, I don't have any minerals. Then I found a spot with minerals. It was too far away. I had bad robots. Kinda sucks, but I can't win every game. Damn. All right, well that is gonna wrap it up for this playthrough. Um, gonna take a couple days, kind of look at the uh, challenges menu, see what I can do with that. Gonna start up a new playthrough soon. Hopefully, I will not have uh, 169 colonists suffocate due to lack of metals and lack of. Uh, proper maintenance. I'm not going to recommend you like this one. <laughs> I'm not going to recommend that, but subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thanks for watching, and uh, maybe I'll have better luck in the next attempt.